and we've got the Dolphins, sure-handed wide receiver. He comes in fourth in the NFL in receiving yardage. It's the Dolphins and the Lions, and it's all up next. Coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06, welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, they're hot as can be. Winners of eight of their last nine games. I don't know if you call this start a surprise exactly, but they've proven that they're going to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. It's been a tradition since the early days of the NFL, and we're off on Thanksgiving Day in Detroit. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. And last week's loss came despite a clean game on his end, throwing the ball with two touchdowns and zero interceptions. His job this week is simple. Do it again. Continue to avoid turnovers and hope that what sunk them last week resolves itself this time around. And they start things off with a carry by Gibbs here. Boom, here to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Another run for Gibbs here. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Play action. It's gone. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They'll come up facing third and five. Goff now looks to throw. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. So here are the Dolphins now with excellent field position to start things out. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. And he's certainly putting together an MVP type season, leading the league in both passing yards and touchdown passes. There have not been too many defense have been able to stop him or even slow him down. So he's got a sight set on another big game right here. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. They'll set up to throw. Looking middle and that's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. So from the 36 now, first and ten. And 
And they'll run on the inside handoff. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Here's a second and eight. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 15-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. This will be caught just inside the 10. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A great play there. His seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. So a toss play there does the trick as he's into the end zone. And you don't run this unless you're sure you've got a guy who has the speed who can get to the edge because what you're hoping for, for him to win the race to the corner and turn it upfield to the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drives seven plays in length and a nine-yard run on the end of it. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Lions offense led by their running back headed out for the second possession. And they love to find different ways to get in the football. We know that. And you can see he comes into this week second in the NFL in receiving yards out of the backfield. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Now it's gone. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend. But you say if you want to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back out there. You don't have time to dwell on things. And look. Your game plan is going to be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players. Guys, you make plays in this one, we out-execute them, we can walk away with a win. They'll come up now third and three. Goff now to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Fox. And he's going to have a Lions first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. Throwing again is gone. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. Out of the gun, gone. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He was looking for Jalen Waddle there, and that'll bring up second down. You talk about this Miami defense. And they find themselves just outside the top 10 in the league against the pass, currently bringing up the number 11 spot. So I'm prepping for this game. I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. And those add up into big mistakes. Big mistakes add up into points against you. Here's Goff. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
we've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. And so if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Again, golf. Open net is Waddle complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Gibbs straight ahead. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They'll go again with Gibbs. And he pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, and there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he's in the midst of an MVP caliber season. The NFL's leader in passing yards as he's up over 3,000 now on the year. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing middle and it's complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. They'll look to throw. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And Hill is going to have a Dolphins first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. Back to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. No gain on the play, and that'll bring up second down. The Dolphins at 9-1 on the year, and they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down set of down started. They need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Back to throw again. That is caught. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. He got 29 yards that time. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Now a fake on the jet sweep and off the play action. He'll look to throw it. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. On 
play action. They'll throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Alec Ingold, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Well, it was second and goal. You're in there close. That's the fullback's comfort zone. Not only is it his comfort zone, it's an expectation. That's what he's supposed to do. Turn and hand it to him. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. And the penetration too strong. He won't make it back to the line of scrimmage. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll try and run for it. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. A great play there with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Dolphins' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Elliott now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, and they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Golf. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he is going to have a Lions first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Golf throwing again. That's going to be caught by Water. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it's second down. Now gone. Over. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the cover was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. 
On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. They're going to look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 31-yard line. In motion, Hill. They'll throw now on the final play. And that is incomplete. So we're at halftime here in the annual Thanksgiving game in Detroit as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. Some good-looking matchups on your screen there. One of the best, yeah, I'll say it, it's in Cleveland. A big test there for the Browns as they'll take on the visiting Baltimore Ravens. Good games in the late afternoon as well. One being out in Santa Clara, where it'll be the 49ers taking on the New York Giants. And then finally, a good one on Monday Night Football to wrap up the week between the Buffalo Bills and the Denver Broncos. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's building his case for MVP consideration with each passing week. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes as we move into the back half of the season. Over the middle, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Out route to Hill, complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. And the tight end goes in motion left. Second and five. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 28. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the... Touchdown! A 9-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. But I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field. 
picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads you into bigger errors. Second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. St. Brown in motion right. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Not able to get a single yard there, and it'll bring up third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now go off. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's gone. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. Goff now looks to throw. It's caught by Davis. First target, first catch, and a first down. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. To the air again, Goff. A little short pass here taken in by LaPorta. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. At the Dolphins' 44 yard line. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Goff now looking to throw. A righteous one, and that's going to be intercepted. Jordan Brooks with it. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38 yard line. And he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at their 38. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and he passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete from the midfield strike they'll look to throw quick hitter here it's complete and he gets this inside the 35 yard line It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking for his running back and he's got it. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Pushes him over. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. 
We're on to the fourth here on Thanksgiving Day. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. They'll set up a throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Back to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. They'll look to throw on third and goal. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. A five-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. So an important touchdown right there is now they're really beginning to pull away. Yeah, this was a tight game until not too long ago. But since then, they've hit the accelerator. And they pushed the lead up to three scores here in the fourth quarter. And I don't see them looking back. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Facing a big fourth-quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season. But in this one, well, their defense has really struggled. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second down and a yard. Brings up second and one. Here's gone. That's Waddle. He's got the catch on the out route. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And the Lions first down. First and ten at the fourth. Goff now to throw. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. From the 48-yard line, here's second and a couple. Throwing again is gone. Open man is Waddle complete. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. That's good for the Lions. First down. First and ten. Back to throw. Gone. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. And they'll come up second and seven. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. To throw is gone. He'll go right back to St. Brown. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 26. That's another Detroit Lions. Golf. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. Or that could have been trouble. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get review. one. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Gone. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. 
They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. Throw left side complete. That's Gibbs. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll fake the give. Now golf. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well,
Cowboys probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. The visitors' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's got some space here. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 70 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. This a second and seven from the 37. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Here's third and six. They'll look to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for the Dolphins, they get win number 10 on the year as they move to 10 and 1. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week. Meanwhile, for Detroit,